Welcome back. Let's take a look at that Great Falls Clinic eye cam where we are seeing some beautiful clear skies right now. We are going to continue to see these clear skies throughout the rest of the weekend and into Monday as well. Our Opportunity Bank cam in Helena is not working right now, but you would also see some clear skies over there. Taking a look at that Doppler radar, not a lot of precipitation across the state. We are going to see this precipitation really popping up until around Tuesday through the end of next week, so it's going to be pretty dry these next couple of days. We are in the middle of an upper level ridge. That is why we are seeing those dry conditions and these warm temperatures as well. We are going to continue to see this ridge kind of lasting until Sunday before it starts to flatten out across the region. We are going to see those temperatures dipping down into the 70s and then possibly even the 60s into next week. You can see that cooler air starting to move in. And along with that dipping ridge, we are going to see those winds beginning to pick up. Right now, we aren't seeing a lot of wind gusts. We aren't going to see those those wind gusts really popping up until around later tonight into that early Sunday morning and we can see them really popping up especially around the Rocky Mountain front and over here along the high line as well and we are going to see those kind of going up into the 30 to 40 mile per hour range so it's going to be a little bit windy these next couple of days and with that wind is also going to come some fire weather watches in fact we do have a couple in effect right now the one that we are going to look at mostly is this red flag warning. This is this means that there are some critical um, fire weather in effect or it's about to go into effect. And this is affecting the Rocky Mountain front over here and then along the eastern portion of Montana. These winds could gust up to 40 miles per hour. And with the low relative humidity, we could see those fires that could spread rapidly. So we advise don't start any fires outdoors right now, especially with these windy conditions. And because it's so dry, it could cause some problems for sure. Taking a look at that future track, you're going to notice that we aren't going to see a lot of cloud cover or a lot of humidity until we get into that Monday, Tuesday range. That cloud cover will start to pop up and we could see some chances for some humidity as we get closer into this middle of the next week. We can see that kind of popping up around the southwestern Montana, moving up into the eastern portion of the state. We could see some severe Thunderstorms popping up as well in that Lewistown and Great Falls area, making its way over to the High Line along with some cloud cover. And we are also going to see a little bit more smoke popping up here and there, especially along the Rocky Mountain front and over along that Great Falls area, kind of spreading eastward across the state. And then hopefully we will start to see it kind of dying down in that Great Falls area. But as we get closer, we'll take a further look at that in that Monday area and taking a look at the lows for tonight we are going to see them into the mid to upper 40s and into the 50s it's going to be mostly clear across most of the state tonight and you can expect to see some sunny conditions tomorrow and over along the eastern portion of the state we are going to see those temperatures dipping up into the 90s but that isn't going to last long because as we head into this upcoming middle of the week we are going to see those temperatures dipping down into the 70s and the 60s taking a quick look at that Great Falls seven day. You can see those temperatures going down into the 50, 50s um, as well. So it's going to get a little bit chilly. So enjoy these warm weather conditions while you can.